well about block the first question comes in mind is why block the main reason behind why we should use block is it helps us for the state management now what is state management see in application we do changes we change one screen from another screen we change some data to make all these changes we need a state management the second reason is yeah it is recommended by a google developers and there is a advantage behind the main advantage is it separate our business logic from our ui so we put all those logic in separate files so it help us maintain right code but in block we face implementation problems so this implementation problem really related to the patterns we get different patterns sometimes we use stream controller or sometimes we use block plugin now here is the thing both patterns have in lengthy examples which really make us even more confused okay so through this confusion the question comes in our mind that which pattern should i follow yeah cuz we can use stream controller related things or we can use this block plugin so we should i follow and if i follow that one is that pattern is right for all example that is our question so for the for this question we got our own answers too cuz every pattern is right it is given by flutter so we can use every pattern and yes but the still question is which pattern we should have to use when so for that we need a understanding of a basic implementation of both pattern so for that i will create simple examples if you go through it you will understand the basic idea behind those patterns and you can use whatever the perfect example for your project